Hello, Familia. This is Mark chapter 11. When they approached Jerusalem at Bethpage in Bethany near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and told them, Go into the village ahead of you. As soon as you enter it, you will find a young donkey tied there, on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord needs it and will send it back here right away. So they went and found a young donkey donkey outside in the street tied by a door they untied it and some of those standing there said that said to them what are you doing untying the donkey they answered them just as jesus had said so they let them go so they brought the donkey to jesus and threw their robes on it and he sat on it many people spread their robes on the road and others spread leafy branches cut from the fields those who went ahead and those who followed kept shouting hosanna he who comes in the name of the lord is the blessed one The coming kingdom of our father, David, is blessed. Hosanna in the highest heaven. And he went into Jerusalem and into the temple complex. After looking around at everything, since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, when they came out from Bethany, he was hungry. After seeing in the distance a fig tree with leaves, he went to find it out there. He went to find out if there was anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and he went into the temple complex and began to throw out those buying and selling in the temple. He overturned the money changers, tables, and the chairs of those selling doves, and would not permit anyone to carry goods through the temple complex. Then he began to teach them, Is is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of thieves. Excuse me. And the chief priests and the scribes heard it and started looking for a way to destroy him. For they were afraid of him because the whole crowd was astonished by his teaching. And whenever evening came, they would go out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were passing by, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots up. And Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed is withered. Jesus replied to them, Have faith in God. I assure you, if anyone says this, says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, all the things you pray, and ask for, believe that you have received them and you will have them. Acts and home churches in Jesus' name, I believe. <laughs> this is, and whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven will also forgive your wrongdoing. But if you don't forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your wrongdoing. They came to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple complex, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came and asked him, By what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do these things? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question, then answer me and I will tell you. By what authority I am doing these things? Was John's baptism from heaven or from men? Answer me. They began to argue among themselves. If we say from heaven, he will say, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say from men, they were they were afraid of the crowd because everyone thought that John was a genuine prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. May the Lord, Heavenly Father, cleanse all of us, all of his children that he's building into a spiritual house of prayer for all people. May he continue to build us up in his love, mercy, grace, and compassion in the mighty name of Jesus. And may you know his beautiful and lovely, gorgeous truth in love more and more, deeper in your heart every single day. May the Lord bless you and keep you familiar in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah and amen.